Hi. I was looking for a comic for my father. I don't think he's ever read one that I know. Short and self-contained would be idle. That shelf? Oh, that looks perfect. Thank you. Oh, this... Oh, my gosh. I love the art style. Hey, guys. Kaloka here. And we are playing the bookshelf limbo. As you saw in the first part, you are looking for a book for your father. Now, in my situation, I'll be just looking for what I think one my thought father would probably like. The Garden of Your Mind. Do you struggle against your, your island empire? It's your eternal dialogue. In the middle. <laughs> that, now, that word right there, it seems like a... Uh, word that uh, my dad would know that I don't know. Uh, do you wish you could keep those intrusive thoughts in check? Maybe you should stop fighting them and lose yourself into the garden of your mind. Uh, check online reviews. Colors in this book are out of the world. Philosophy is quite bland though. Dominated Laura. I've read it about 40 times, times already. A masterpiece. My mother loved this book. Oh. I may need to turn down the music a little bit, sorry about that. There we go, just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, share it with your loved ones. Uh, read quotes from the book. A revolution in the field of self-help comics. Now this actually might be the type of book that I might get. A Twist the Lou. I wonder, are these actual books? Essential. <laughs> Get an introduction to transformation magic. Uh, put the book back. Let's keep looking. Uh, so that would be something that I might grab for like a self, because it said it's about something with self help, but I don't think I'll grab that. Oh, yeah, no, this something seems like that already right here. The forensic artist might be something that my dad would get because he likes uh, crime books, crime, murder mystery, those type of books. Loves those. The friend the forensics <laughs> the friend forensics artist. Uh Mohammed is an eminence in the field of digital forensics. He has been taxed with dismantling the lies of virtual cult which which is filling the web with their doctored images of otherworldly beings. Failing to prove them fake, the forensics artist and the reader will gradually dwell into his battle of madness and self doubt. That is something I would grab. That's something my dad would grab. Uh, I read that Bakr Kwam used actual footage from infidelity in in investigations. I had nightmare for months after finishing this comic. Extremely recommend if you, as many of us, know that there's something else beyond this dimension. That's actually, that's, I, I also like really, really like fantasy books. Like, I read, I read, I believe I read Aragon. I read, okay, let me actually look behind me. I have Aragon. The Plague Dogs. That was a really good book. Uh, 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 anything, um... No, anything animals. I love to grab. I have... I read... Percy Jackson. I think that's what it's called. I've read Percy Jackson. I don't... I don't... I haven't, I haven't read, like, the other series. Like, the continuing series. I think that's what it is. But even though I have some of them. Um... I have Lord of the Rings. I haven't read it yet, though. <laughs> I don't, if you want, yeah, if you want like an, an idea of some of the type of books that I like, there you go. Like X Files, but in front of a computer. Haha. <laughs> uh, enjoyable even with its recurrent pitfalls into ableism. It's time we stop stigmatizing mental health issues in me media, guys. Uh, so I checked the, I just checked the online reviews with the quotes on this ba on the back. Gurgi and Bakur ba uh, Gur <laughs> Gur Peggy and Bakur Kaham work together work in perfect t tandem in this hard topping thriller. He's in among the top five horror works of 2015. Again, Bakur as pots pots postulate. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, himself is a true master of the genre. Uh, put the book back. I, now, this one I would definitely would probably grab immediately. What's this one? Oh! That, 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 
that's what I would grab. Just based off of, just based off the uh, cover alone. Uh, Pup, Pupinski is a very cute cat and looks to look to the street from the window for the. For the first time, the integral story of a critical acclaimed comic strip artist collecting in a deluxe edition. On our reviews, I grew up reading Pascanese Adventures every week. This edition is fantastic. I'm not a fan of, recol of the recoloring, though. So I'm assuming the original one was probably not colored. Which I actually don't... Now, this kind of seems like a, uh... Uh, this kind of seems like one of those things where it's like a... N a newspaper comic thing, which I actually don't read very much. Then again, I don't really get any. I don't get newspapers. Uh, sometimes if we're in a restaurant and they have newspapers, we'll grab them. Like uh, we have a uh, Culver's nearby, so if we go eat there, me and uh, me and my father will go. We'll go grab. So we'll grab the newspapers and he'll. I get half the section. He gets half the section. We'll read our parts and then. Um, whatever parts that I do read, because I don't read very much of them, since a lot of them are negative. Um, but then once we're done, we'll switch off, and so he he, he reads the comics first. So that's always that's always the case. He reads the comics first. Uh, if you don't like P Popsinski, I'm afraid you don't have a soul, sir. Unequivocally perfect no matter how you look at it. Emperor of Petite. If you have some negative to say, you both uh, find you and I will fight you. <laughs> uh, big thoughts on the back. Every stroke. Who's this humanity? This is what life is truly about. Everyone, and I mean everyone, should read uh, Renaud Patel's work. Uh, put the book back. Keep looking. Wait, like, what, like, what, like, for some questions for you guys, what type of books do you guys like reading? Do you actually even like reading? It seems crazy to, crazy to me that there are people who don't really like, uh, who don't like reading. I always have loved reading. Ever since, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, of course, it's with the help of my dad. But I've always liked reading. You open a book and you get to be inside a whole other world. I would do <laughs> if I could. I would do books reviews for a living, especially fantasy books, fantasy and animal books. Um, now I never read horse books. Uh. Like those horse horse books. Maybe I don't know why. Even though I like all the I like animals a lot, I never read horse books. That's probably because of the fact that I have a thing where I and I think you can kind of tell with the art, anyways. I like to humanize the animals. And with usual, usual with usually with the horse books, they're not the not really humanizing them, and some of them seem to be more romance. And I'm just not a romance person. Yeah. I don't know what I was going with that. Uh, what's the next book? Let's stick to this one. Neon Ping Pong Lovers. Romance book. They are lesbians. They are polyamorous. They are unstoppable. Uh, okay. B okay. This is a romance book. I wouldn't usually grab this, but kind of with this title and kind of with this, uh... This, this title and... <laughs> The art on it, I think I might grab that. I think I might grab that. Uh, Reganola and Cassie are the talk of the town and we plan to leave an impression on the argumented reality ping pong competition of Lake Grand Station, the most famous space town in all of Andromeda. The characters are like so cool. We plan on cosplaying them at the next Oh, bone bon marrow con. The themes with too many faces is just a marketing trap. Alright. Shut up and take my money, I need sequels. Uh, oh, it doesn't come with any quotes. <laughs> Your world is about to get... Oh god, I can't read that. Your world is about to get ping pong to the max, baby. Uh, why? The comic's good enough as it is. The marketing guy shouldn't try this hard. I, yeah, okay, maybe with that back, I would probably be like, uh, oh, no. Uh, let's see, look at this one. Mm. <laughs> I need to get a face cam, because there's some faces, and like, the face, um, sex, yeah. Sex stories. <laughs> it's self-contained, a comic book anthology, 
erotic, explicit, irrelevant, funny, and liberating. We talk about sexual, sex, sexuality and gender from totally different perspectives. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely 18 plus. Uh, here you won't find the typical, and if you go in, you have to keep an open mind. I, okay. With that art itself, I would probably grab it. My 18 plus books that I, I only, I actually don't have any 18 plus books. Uh, porn for social justice workers. <laughs> Disgusting. Wait, did that say Pedro Pedro? Uh, make me reconcile myself with my body. I reconnected with masturbation in a very tense way. Alright. Uh, best erotic contact produced in Spain. Has furries in it. Five million stars. Yep. Um, that's actually, that's actually pretty normal. Uh, that's pretty normal. And I'm sure, I'm sure there's like some other topics in there that I'm not gonna pull up. <laughs> uh, but let's put this one back. That's definitely not something my... Did we grab this one? Oh, we did. Uh, let's look at this one then. Alberto, I read you and I feel more free. I see if it's illustrated poems about hidden pleasures. Crossing a silky rug, the sm smell of wet earth, picking up good melon at a food store. Crossing images reframe everyday actions and discovering new lens to enjoy life. Uh, let's check the online reviews on this one. Let's check some cool, but the poems are pretentious for garbage. I'd rather just spend an afternoon browsing in demon art. I used to do. Oh, I have actually. I do actually have a demon art, which there's a link to it in my description. Some of that, sh th some of the art stuff on there isn't very good. Uh, but I used to. Uh, I don't do it as much, and I feel like maybe I should. But I used to just browse demon art forever. Uh, basically, usually during the night, and I would just p find people's art, and I'd go ahead and favorite, and, uh, and comment on it. Now, I don't do that as much, I don't really look at my demon art as much. Uh, they have a clip going on, and now, I don't use it, I don't use the Eclipse. I actually thought at one point, my demon art was stuck with the Eclipse. And it was a struggle to get through. I didn't understand and I didn't like it. And I don't... Now, that's the thing. I don't like change. I like change. That's fine. But it's really hard to... I, I love... Now, the coloring itself... I love the coloring. I love the coloring of the clips. But everything else is just like... It was hard to get through. I was trying to like delete multiple stuff at once and it wasn't really working. Do any of you other guys use Demon Art? I do. I try. <laughs> I try to do so. Uh, but I'm trying to find a different, maybe different art place. Because there's like art station, but that's for like really professional people. And I'm not a professional at all. I have a weird style between anime and realistic. Um, and I don't paint. Uh, even though I do have some painting photos. But I don't really paint or anything. So I, feel like, I don't feel like I belong in art station. Or... There's also for fantasy, which is often the case for fur, uh, furry artists, but I don't really draw furries, even though I have a furry character named Dr Derpavore. Which, by the way, I made that name up before I realized what war meant. <laughs> so, please don't go after me for that. Uh, but, again, I don't really draw furries. And even art seems to be losing a lot of people. So, I don't know. And then, there's obviously Tumblr. But I don't know how the Tumblr is for its quality. I think it's actually pretty good with quality. I posted an art recently, recently there of Jacksepticeye. Uh, so I actually think it's pretty good with quality, so I might just post more art stuff, sketches and that on there. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. Uh, dumb shit. <laughs> I'm enough of the author's sensibilities to keep coming again and again to this book. Alberto, I read you and I feel love. Uh, read quotes on the back. Warning as a ray of sun on a winter morning. Warming. Oh. Duh. Uh, this book made me fall in again and fall again in love with tea. I feel like that should that sentence should be rewritten. Uh, I wish Alberto was a real person with whom I could share a flat. Uh, put that book back. I think this is the last book. Hey. 
Really? That's actually one of the games I played. No, I played this game. And I played this game. And uh, I think I recorded this one. I recorded this one, but I didn't actually go through with it. I think... If I remember correctly... Uh... I think the I think the quality got shot or something. Or something messed up within the recording because I'm a very new uh, artist, not artist, content creator. But yeah, this one messed up. I played this one. Those both of these are really good games. I don't know what this one is though. What is this game? If somebody can point me out what this game is right here, that'd be awesome. Assistant Empathy. Three stories by the deconstructive, creative, co collective, tackling themes and as diverse as body horror and self-acceptance, oppressive dy dy dynamics in a heteronormative couple and struggle of a gay hitman working at a flower shop. So wait, uh, body horror and self-acceptance, this one's that one's this one. So what is... The price of dynamics in a heteronormative couple? I think that might be this one. Whatever this one is. Also, I like... It's a, I, I, I thought that was a window. It's not a window. <laughs> That's a painting. A modern painting, which I don't really like. But whatever. Check online reviews. Can't stand these pretentious... If it weren't for that famous publishing label, they'd be dead on the ditch. The Hitman story is cool, though. Alright, can't get another this team. I just wish it didn't take that long to release that stuff. Three years to make this? Come on. Not bad. Mandatory reading stuff material for my students. Alright. More than food for thought. These stories should be selling by the millions. They're my friends, but these bastards are also really good. Uh, put the book back. I actually, though, I really want to figure out what that other one is. I think maybe if I can go, go find back uh, that first game, the body horror one, which has body horror because she's taking stuff out of her body, um, maybe I can find that other game, go ahead and play it. Uh, I think we just looked at this one. Yep, just looked at this one. And so it's this one. This one I would grab. Now this one I would get from my dad because he likes, like me, likes horror, criminal, which actually reminds me, a good book to read that I really liked was, what is it? It's by Tim Downs. It's Less Than Dead. That was a really good book. If you like animals, it's specifically uh, one to the, it's a dogs that sniff out people that have passed away and they're trying to find the bodies for a crime and it has slight romance to it but it's not a really really big part it's very small but if you like stuff like that I'd go for that it's kind of funny too I believe uh but yeah blah, blah, blah. <laughs> maybe this one I'm not a fan of physical thrillers This won't tell much, much, much about myself to my dad. Wait. Ah, shit. I closed the... I closed my internet browser. Okay, I can't look really look for that. So... I'm not a fan of physical, physiological feelers. So this won't tell much, much about myself to my dad. I don't want to. Don't want to feel my dad's conspiracy theories. But I want to grab this one. Oh, so these are cute. I'd love to read Popskin's Key on the Sunday paper, but this is too strange, man. I don't want him to think I'm still a child. Um. So. I'm oh! I missed 
first one. The pulsar code. The first ever magic treaty illustrated with sequential art. Written and designed by mysterious author and only known as Poseidon, which Fortna, circa 1960, dared to explore this out of its time narrative piece about divination, medi meditation, and cosmology. Check on my reviews. Interesting. This is a real deal, guys. You'll have to find every time I read that page. Spooky. We need to stop already with the glorification of hippie drug induced fantasies. Extratic, extratic garbage. This one I would this one I would also grab because this stuff uh interests me. Um Plus I just I really love the It looks like the cover has been painted. It only has a poem in the back. Stranger to my soul, invade my body. Um, God? <laughs> God, are you there? Uh, get me an eye to see beyond my penance. Take my pride, my sorrow, my chains. Turn them into power, wisdom, and revenge. Strange to my soul, invade my magic. Strange to my soul, become my faith. Uh, that maybe says something. I hope this book gets in curse. Now, if I felt something, I'd be grabbing that book. <laughs> Put the book back. So I think this is the only one, but I want to grab this one. And a second thought, maybe this one is the book. Yes. This is the one. I'll take this one. Yes, it's a gift. I love you. I hope you like it. I miss you. Thank you for everything. Oh, I'm proud of you. Thank you for everything. I... Without stickers. Thank you. Goodbye. That was the Bookshelf Limbo. Did you guys like the game? I really liked it. It's also kind of interesting to see... Now, when I go look at books, when I go, say, to Barnes & Noble, when I go look at books, I always go for one section. Uh, which is fantasy. Uh, that one's always been fantasy books I always like. And it's f fantasy followed by... <laughs> I'm sorry, my dog is... I took a shower earlier, and... Jacob, uh, not Jacob, David, has this thing where he... <laughs> Where he likes to rub onto the towel that he used, so he's just kind of rubbing onto the towel now. I I, I think he just finally noticed it. Hey, Popo. Hey, Popo. I'm trying to finish the video, buddy. He's cute. Maybe we should take a photo. I can add this onto the onto the video. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys liked it, I'll go ahead and put a link down into the a uh, link to the game down in the description below. You guys can play it yourself if you want to. Um, but yeah. I liked it. It was nice. See y'all in the next video. Bye bye